Foundation Module 5, Physiology, Respiration. Dr. Ashraf Thand, founder and CEO of Dr. Sheen, Medical Lecture. Superfast Simplified Physiology, Video Lecture Notes. Guyton and Hall, 14th edition, Chapter Number 38, Respiration Lecture Number 9. Learning Objectives. Define the different lung volumes and capacities and their clinical significance. Lung volumes. The air moved during breathing can be divided into four lung volumes. 1. Tidal volume. 2. Inspiratory reserve volume. 3. Expiratory reserve volume. 4. Residual volume. Represent average volumes for a 70-kilogram man. The volumes, values, are low for females. Lung volumes depending on physical fitness, age height, sex and other factors, such as the altitude at which a person resides. One tidal volume, amount of air inspired or expired with each normal breath, 500 milliliter. Two. The inspiratory reserve volume, the extra amount of air that can be inspired over and above the normal tidal volume with maximum inspiration, 3 liter. 3. The expiratory reserve volume, the maximum extra amount of air that can be expired by forceful expiration after the end of a normal tidal expiration, 1100 milliliter. Four, the residual volume, the amount of air remaining in the lungs after forceful expiration, 1.2 liter. Pulmonary capacities, combinations of two or more volumes called pulmonary capacities. One, the inspiratory capacity equals the tidal volume plus the inspiratory reserve volume, total volume of air that a person can be inspired to the maximum amount. 3.5 liter. 2. Functional residual capacity equals the expiratory reserve volume plus the residual volume, the amount of air that remains in the lungs at the end of normal expiration. 2.3 liter. 3. Vital capacity equals the inspiratory reserve volume plus the tidal volume plus the expiratory reserve volume. Volume of air that can be maximally exhale out after maximal inspiration, 4.6 liter. 4. Total lung capacity is the maximum volume to which the lungs can be expanded with the greatest possible effort. 5.8 liter. It is equal to the vital capacity plus the residual volume. Clinical significance. The lung volumes and capacities can be measured by different techniques, such as spirometry or helium dilution methods. The clinical significance of lung volumes and capacities is that they can help diagnose and monitor different types of lung diseases such as obstructive disorders, e.g. asthma, chronic bronchitis, emphysema, and restrictive disorders, pulmonary fibrosis, sarcoidosis, and chest wall deformities.